Okay, so I'm building custom authentication for Farm Pulse 360, also building this into my SaaS framework, and I may be able to release this code um, uh, out uh, publicly. So, uh, you know, please follow me or subscribe if, you, if you're interested in hearing about when that happens. It shouldn't take too long. I've been working on this. Uh, I'll be working on this today and tomorrow for sure. So um, I got started by reading Dimitri, and it's Hillis, I believe is the last name, his article here. Uh, check out his blog. There's always good content, a lot of good content there. And this got me started. I needed to refactor a few things. But what I was most interested in was he had uh, the different, all the, all the, functionality of the login. So the uh, register for an account, um, login and forgot password all on, on one page. And uh, I hadn't done that uh, when I was using Oracle authentication with the existing version of Farm Pulse. So I uh, wanted to try to figure that out. And he does a pretty good job in uh, the, the bottom of the page is a video and suggest you watch that. Uh, whoops, went too far. Where is it? Right there. So he's got a YouTube video. Um, he goes through it, and I was able to figure out most of this stuff from looking at the video. There are some things you kind of had to play around with. But anyway, let me show you how it's working here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in here. So we're on the login page. We could put our email and uh, password in and click login. And if we did that, uh, we would run the Apex Authentication.login procedure, and we would pass those values in. Um, and this is just... Uh, when the buttons press login, uh, so our process is tied to that action, and uh, the action is submit, I believe. I don't know where that is, but uh, anyway, it runs the right code. Okay, so if we click no account yet, register for free, we see the registration uh, uh, region appears and the other region disappears. And the way that's done is through a dynamic action. Well, I should go to uh, rendering here. If we go to the switch to register, that's what we're clicking. And we look, we have a dynamic action called switch to register. Click when true, which is the button, obviously the switch to register button. When it's clicked, we execute this JavaScript. And this is what I want to show you here. Let's see if we can pop that open. So we just have a dollar $S, uh, which sets, we want to set the value of some fields. And so we're setting the value of these three fields on the register page to nothing. So in case you've already filled it out, you know, kind of resets it. And then we're using some jQuery, uh, uh, collect, uh, referencing the static IDs that I've set for each region. Uh, you need to put a pound sign in front of that static ID name. So each region has a static ID assigned, forgot password region, login region, register region. And I just hide or show those regions based on you know, what button's being selected. And so each of these switch twos have, you know, this code or some form of this code in it. And um, they hide or uh, show the values that need to be shown. And then, uh, as I said, for processing, we have uh, a process set up for each of the main buttons. And um, the login cause, call, as I said, calls the default Apex authentication login, for, but we do have custom authentication scheme set up. Uh, register calls custom code to register the account, and reset password calls custom code to reset password, which all of that is basically a refactoring of the code that Dimitri has up here. So I'm going to be adding some more features because it isn't quite as complete as I need it and need to do some things like trying to validate whether the email address is, is, is looks like an email address, whether uh, password is long enough and uh, meets complexity things, uh, rules, uh, and those kinds of things. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you learned something. Uh, if, uh, if I'm doing something uh, incorrectly here, please let me know. I'm learning apex and uh, welcome you to learn it with me if you're not familiar with the tool thanks